I'm, I'm Mike Andrews, Chief Scientist of Trust Metrics. Today I just wanted to say, make a few quick remarks on um, the, the topic uh, correlation versus, versus causation. Correlation is when there's sort of a kind of a bi-directional relationship be, between two things. Um, at, at Trust Metrics, we, um, we do automated scoring or rating of websites. And uh, this, this uh, scoring is uh, done by models we develop. And these models are basically trained on a small set of expert scores done by our own highly trained uh, staff who go out and look at many web pages for every site and come up with some rating for each website. So for instance, New York Times may be an 80 on a score on a scale of zero to hundred. Sex.com may be, I don't know, 10 or 20. Um, it depends on the rating scheme. That's just an, an example. Um, and <clears throat> in developing these models, basically what we're looking for are correlations between the thousands of things we measure about those websites and these expert scores. Um, and these things we measure are of all different sorts. So obviously we look at ad to edit ratios, um, but we also look at technical things like the presence or absence of various HTML tags or third party data. Um, you know, uh, we could look at some semantic analysis um, uh, data. We can look at many, many different things, but no matter what we look at, in making these models to automatically rate websites, we're trying to find correlations between those measurements and the expert scores. Um, and when you're looking at correlations, you don't really have any sense of the, the data causing the expert score or the expert score causing the data. They just sort of stand there as peers. And if we can find among the thousands of things we measure that the presence or absence of this one tag is HTML tag is very correlated with an expert score, we're not, we're not sort of asking why, uh, we're just sort of making note of that fact. And if it, and if it works and it's, and it's uh, robust across all data sets we can find, uh, then we sort of include it in our models. And that's sort of what correlation is all about. Causation is more of an intuitive thing relating to people taking actions in the world. Meaning, let's say, let's say we do find this weird HTML tag is correlated uh, strongly with the um, thing we're, we're trying to, with, with, the, with, with the rating that we're trying to mimic in our model. That's all fine and good, it's correlated so we can use it in our models. But that doesn't mean that if we take this website out there and change that measurement all on its own, like we just eliminate that tag from the web page, that doesn't mean it will, it will, it will change the score. It's, so, the, so the correlation is sort of saying out there in the wild, these two things go together. It doesn't mean if you change that thing um, that you should expect it to have any impact on the score. It's uh, sort of like um, if you're kind of a statistician and you're um, walking along the street and you, you do it day after day after day. Some days it's raining, some days it's not raining. On the days it's raining, you see people have umbrellas. On the days it's not raining, they don't have umbrellas. So obviously, um, if you notice this correlation between rain and umbrellas, then you can't ask everybody to put their umbrellas up and expect it'll start to rain because there's no causal relationship there. It's sort of a good relationship to exploit for modeling. Like if you're building an artificial intelligence uh, to detect rain, you may just want to look for umbrellas. But that doesn't mean if you put umbrellas, it will cause rain. On the other hand, if you could cause rain, um, then you could, in some sense, also cause people to put, up, to put up umbrellas. So that's sort of the causal relationship. So from a modeling perspective, rain and umbrellas kind of go together. You can't say which one causes the other. Uh, you, you can't say one affects the other. Maybe neither affects the other. Um, but if you want to come up with some kind of causal 
um, causal conclusion, you sort of have to know a little bit more. You have to make more measurements. Really, you have to come up with a whole theory of rain and umbrellas and things like that. Um, but anyway, the upshot of all of this is, um, for our purposes, coming up with purely correlative, correlative models is uh, fine. Um, and that's because when we rate websites, nothing in our business model is about going out and changing websites to make them better. If we, if we were trying to sell that, we would need causal models, but we're not. We're just looking to rate websites out there in the wild. So it's fine if we say rain is correlated with umbrellas, kind of. It doesn't really matter for us which one causes the other. So that's, that's pretty much all I um, plan to say today, kind of off the cuff about correlation and, and, and causation. Uh, this is Mike Andrews for Trust Metrics. My email is mra at trustmetrics.com if you want to drop me a line. Thanks.